Welcome to a journey back in time to the 16th century, the golden era of the Mughal Empire in India. This was a time when the subcontinent was under the rule of Jalal Uddin Muhammad Akbar, the third Mughal emperor, known for his administrative efficiency and cultural openness. He was a visionary ruler who believed in the unity of diverse cultures and religions. He reigned over an empire that stretched across North India, marking a period of unprecedented prosperity and artistic refinement. Among the luminaries of his court, there was one man who stood out with his wit and wisdom, Raja Birbal. He was not just a close advisor to Emperor Akbar, but also a renowned courtier, known for his sharp intellect and his knack for solving complex problems with ease and humor. Now let's dive straight into a fascinating tale from their time. One day Emperor Akbar posed a question, Birbal, what is more valuable, time or money? The room fell silent as the two great minds prepared to debate. Akbar, with the confidence of a ruler, argued, Money, Birbal, is the most valuable. It can buy luxury, power and even time. With enough wealth, one can purchase anything, even the most precious commodities. His voice echoed through the grandeur of the Mughal court, a testament to his firm belief in the power of wealth. However, Birbal, always the voice of wisdom, calmly countered, your Majesty, money indeed can buy many things, but time, once lost, can never be bought back. Its value, therefore, is beyond any measure of wealth. His words carried a quiet, undeniable truth that resonated in the heart of the court. As the argument heated up, Birbal asked for a day to prove his point. The next day, Birbal came to the court with a plan to demonstrate the value of time. Birbal, ever the clever advisor, had devised an ingenious plan to make Emperor Akbar understand the importance of time. He knew that he couldn't just tell Akbar about the value of time. He had to show him. And so he created a scenario where the emperor's wealth would be of no use if he did not act within a specific time frame. Birbal presented Akbar with a beautifully crafted wooden box, saying, This box contains something very precious, emperor, but there's a catch. The box is designed to open only at a certain time, and if it isn't opened within that window, the precious item inside will be destroyed. Intrigued and a bit anxious, Akbar waited for the appointed time, and when it arrived he found himself in a predicament. Despite having all the wealth in the world, he could not force the box open. He had to wait, and the precious item inside was at the mercy of time. As the minutes ticked away, Akbar started to realize the predicament he was in. The ticking clock seemed to echo Birbal's words from the day before. Time was indeed precious, and even his vast wealth couldn't buy him a single second more. In the end, Akbar managed to open the box within the time limit, saving the precious item inside. He looked at Birbal, understanding shining in his eyes. Time, he realized, was not a commodity that could be bought or sold. It was a gift, a resource that once spent could never be regained. Birbal smiled, his point made. He hadn't just told Akbar the value of time, he had shown him. And in doing so, he had also demonstrated the wisdom and cleverness that made him one of the most beloved figures in the Mughal court. As the scenario unfolded, Akbar realized the truth in Birbal's words. Basking in the aftermath of Birbal's demonstration, the court awaited his concluding words. As the anticipation hung heavy like a ripe fruit ready to drop, Birbal broke the silence. My esteemed friends, he began, his voice echoing through the grand hall. The demonstration was not merely a display of artistry, it was a lesson in understanding the value of time. Birbal continued, his words painting vivid images in the minds of the courtiers. Imagine losing a bag of gold. With time and effort you may regain it, but imagine losing an hour, a minute, or even a second. No matter what effort you put forth, that lost time is gone forever. It's irreplaceable. His words held the court in a spell. Wealth can be regained, but time once gone is gone forever. Therefore, value time more than wealth. Thus, Birbal's wisdomful judgment enlightened the court and reinforced the value of time over wealth.